From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. Good morning. It is Friday, July 10th. I'm Eric Parker. We start with the coronavirus in Connecticut. 101 more people have tested positive for COVID-19. Five more patients have died in Connecticut. And there are currently two more people in the hospital with the virus compared to yesterday. Medical workers conducted another 8,000 new tests as well. More college teams will remain on the sidelines even after students get back to campus. The start of the Northeast Conference season has been pushed back to September 10th, at least because of COVID-19. Experts will decide if games will resume once we get closer to that date. Both Central Connecticut State University and Sacred Heart play in the NEC. The Ivy League has already canceled its entire fall sports season. And new this morning, swimming at beaches in the New Haven area has been given the green light. People were told to stay out of the water after 2 million gallons of raw sewage leaked into a river that leads to Long Island Sound earlier this week. Swimming at town beaches in New Haven, West Haven, East Haven, Brantford, Guilford and Madison resumes this morning. Water will be tested twice a week. Mark. All right, and weather-wise for the beach this weekend, conditions eventually improve by tomorrow afternoon and Sunday looks good, but between now and tomorrow morning, we've got Tropical Storm Faye to contend with, given the clouds and eventually some tropical downpours this afternoon will not be as hot as yesterday. In fact, we'll only reach the upper 70s and low 80s, but the humidity will certainly remain high. So with the anticipated rain that, be, that could be quite heavy, uh, one to two inches generally speaking across Connecticut with even higher amounts, say across the western third of the state, a flash flood watch is posted all the way through uh, tonight. So here's the timing on Futurecast. Uh, tropical downpours become likely as we head through the afternoon. Look at those yellows, oranges, and reds by 7 o'clock. So steady, heavy rain for our Friday evening. That's the case all the way through 11 o'clock tonight. It's not until around daybreak tomorrow that the rain begins to taper off and wind down. And then as we head through tomorrow, uh, we do anticipate some partial clearing. Sunshine's going to help to boost temperatures into the 90 degree range. And then late in the day, some more thunderstorms are going to be possible, especially across western Connecticut. On our early warning seven day forecast, Sunday, even hotter than tomorrow. Low 90s, still humid, partly to mostly sunny. And as we head toward early next week, a chance is there for some afternoon thunderstorms on Monday. Slightly less humid Tuesday, Wednesday, and then uh, another chance for 90 degree heat as we head toward uh, the middle of next week. Perhaps the hottest weather so far of the year.